We are asked to write each expression using a single base, do not simplify further, and write all answers with positive exponents. We will also assume all of the variables are non-zero. Looking at number one, we have p raised to the power of three, or p cubed times p raised to the power of negative six. Because the bases are the same, to determine the product, we add the exponents, which is the product property of exponents, shown here, x raised to the power of a times x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a plus b. So p to the third times p raised to the power of negative six equals p raised to the power of three plus negative six. Three plus negative six equals negative three. This product is equal to p raised to the power of negative three. We're asked to give the answer using positive exponents. So now we'll apply the negative exponent property, which is a raised to the power of negative n equals one over a raised to the power of positive n which means p raised to the power of negative three equals one over p raised to the power of positive three. Number two, we have the base of negative two raised to the eighth power times the base of negative two raised to the power of negative eight. Again, because we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so the base remains negative two and the exponent will be eight plus negative eight. Well, eight plus negative eight is equal to zero. This simplifies to the base of negative two raised to the zero power. Any non-zero value raised to the zero power is equal to one. And therefore the base of negative two raised to the zero power equals one. And then finally we have negative five r divided by the base of negative five r raised to the fourth power. Notice in the denominator, the base of negative five r is raised to the fourth power in the numerator, we have one factor of negative five r, which means negative five r is the same as the base of negative five r raised to the first power. Now that we're dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. And this is the quotient rule of exponents shown here. X raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a minus b. So this quotient is equal to the base of negative five r raised to the power of one minus four. One minus four is equal to negative three, which means we have the base of negative five r raised to the power of negative three. But again, we need to express this using positive exponents. So we apply the negative exponent property, which means the base of negative five r raised to the power of negative three is equal to one over the base of negative five r raised to the power of positive three. And because the directions do say, leave the expression using a single base and do not simplify further, we do want to leave the expression in this form here because we have a single base of negative five r raised to the power of positive three in the denominator. Though it is possible to multiply out the denominator, notice here we have three factors of negative five r which is equal to negative 125 r cubed, and therefore the expression can also be written as negative one over 125 r cubed. But again, the directions do indicate to leave the expression in this form. I hope you found this helpful.